And welcome everyone to the show. Comedian, author, and television personality Howie Mandel joins us today. And now, doctor for the day. Wow. How this are you? Great. What an appointment I'm having. Yeah. Oh, this is great. This I is didn't know. Somebody called me yesterday and said, I want you to go to the doctors tomorrow. And I said, okay, because I'm a hypochondriac. I had no idea they meant the TV show. So <laughs> this is great. This is, yeah, this is a good doctor's visit. It is a good doctor's Nothing bad happens you ever, here. You ever watch the show? You can be you watch the show. I love the show. I have a problem. My problem is I watch a show, but everybody should watch a show. But then I do a lot of self-examinations. I do a lot of calls. <laughs> everything. I have everything you talk about. Yeah. Well, well, and we all went through that in medical school. Okay. We're reading the book and we're going, oh, I think I have a Well, you know, yeah. I'm not a doctor, but I did play one on TV. In the early 80s, I did a show called Sane Elsewhere. Yeah! I got to the point because I had to learn and I had to know that I got to, it made me a hypochondriac, but I remember there's stuff in my head that I still have, <laughs> and that was in the 80s, that I can't, I, like I still know what to do for a gunshot wound to the chest. You do? I do. What? D5 lactated ringers, colloids, O negative blood, an intubation <laughs> tray with a 22 centimeter endotracheal tube, an open thoracotomy tray, and two number 16 what? central Woo! catheters. Of that is impressive. That I is have awesome. stuff in my head that, that I can't point. get out. All right, so you mentioned hypochondria. The other thing we heard is that you you struggled with being a germaphobe your whole life, and not in the tongue-in-cheek sense, no, as no. in this has been a major issue for you. No, this is a battle that I fight every waking moment of my life. Uh, you know what, it's, it's uh, symptomatic of, I have OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, so uh, the thought of germs triggers me. So, and, and germs on my hands, so it's about not touching things. So, and it's, it, uh, you know, as we speak, I am, I've put uh, psychologists into whole new tax brackets. I am <laughs> medicated. There's a picture of me and my family. That's just, uh, that happens to be in an emergency room, but that's, they, they, uh, my kids were 16 before they realized I wasn't a surgeon. I just wear masks because <laughs> So what happens when someone comes up to you, you know, when I, even when I was meeting you earlier, and if I come up with an open hand, to shake yours, what, but what goes through your mind? Is there... Why do we need to shake hands? I like the Asian culture of just, like, we're taught to cover our mouth when we sneeze. Just we're mouth. touching, we're touching things that we don't You're need on, to touch. You are on to something I there. am. I say Why, when you meet somebody, do you have to do that? And then you go to their house and they offer you chips from the, you, the same thing that you touched your eating. Here, I'm not touching, so I'm just. So uh, we're making progress. What you are speaking of is germ awareness. And there, well, but a big I'm difference hypo. between that and, and being a germaphobe, because I'll tell you, I say all the time, it is much safer during cold and flu season just to do the little fist bump, you know, whatever salute you want to do. Yeah, hey, look, look at me. That's yeah. it. Isn't that better? I'm not doing anything. Because, yeah, you, you know, the one thing about our hands, obviously during cold and flu season, people are sick, they sneeze, they cough, they do transmit germs that way. But we're talking about the dangerous ones. So we did a little something, Howie, to hopefully alleviate some of your concerns with everyday life. We did some investigating. We swabbed 20 people's hands. Right, where? We made sure to swab Here. their fingertips. This is in our offices. Oh. We even got the webs of their fingers, the back side of their hands. 20 Wait, different people. you have employees with webbed fingers? I think you've got a bigger. <laughs> so in our offices, in fairness, you know, people work long hours, things right. get a little messy in there. We sent those swabs to ABC Labs to see what kind of dirt they'd uncover. The results? We didn't find anything scary. Just common environmental bacteria. We're gonna talk a little bit more about phobias throughout the show. And in your case, obviously, this is one that you've dealt with for your whole life, so. And I'm dealing with.